Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this afternoon, I thought I'd just give you an update on our police response to the, uh, the flood efforts to date. Uh, certainly, we are still focused on the townships of uh, Condamine and Dirrambandi, which remain isolated by flood waters in the west. Uh, we are assisting in the resupply and certainly maintaining a watch over uh, the situation in both those areas. Also impacted is the town of Hebel. Uh, as you know, Rockhampton is now open and uh, the recovery efforts there are very well underway, as they are in the Brisbane and Ipswich areas. Unfortunately, we are continuing, continuing our search areas in the Lockyer Valley. This is a very, very difficult task for our people. Uh, and unfortunately today we located another body at Grantham on the outskirts near a creek. Uh, we have also today confirmed the death of a male person who died in his vehicle at Carabin in the Ipswich area on the 12th of January. Uh, that, that victim uh, has been confirmed as being a flood related death. So the total now stands at 20 deaths since the 10th of January. We only have 12 persons missing at this stage. Um, one of the missing persons was a homeless man uh, that we have since located in the last 24 hours. So he has now been removed from that list. Overnight, uh, right across the state, we still have 15 evacuation centres operating and a total of 1,300 people uh, were housed in those evacuation centres last night. But as each day progresses and the evacuation uh, centres uh, the support in those centres uh, continues, we hope that those numbers will drop. Um, the Queensland Police Service, through its investigations, have located 410 people who have been reported missing since the 10th of January in the Toowoomba and Lockyer area. Uh, this has been an amazing effort and we're very grateful to all of those who took part in, in this particular uh, activity. Um, in terms of looting, uh, the, the uh, number of persons currently uh, on looting charges is 15 and there are a total of 17 charges in relation to those persons. I'm happy to take any questions you may have in relation to that information. Okay, I'll say one other thing if you like. Um, today, the Premier has announced a commission of inquiry into the, uh, the floods and the response effort uh, we certainly stand ready as an organisation to cooperate fully with that inquiry and particularly from the, from the perspective that we are looking at ways that uh, learnings that may come from that inquiry and obviously the ways we may improve our activities uh, in such very, very difficult circumstances. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions. Certainly, uh, this has been a very, very difficult uh, case uh, to manage in terms of the uh, search operations. It's very difficult terrain um, and uh, the mud and the debris is quite uh, extensive. Uh, interestingly enough, our officers today located a large safe uh, 20 kilometres downstream from Grantham where it disappeared from at the height of the floods. Uh, we believe the flood water has, has taken that safe all the way down that creek to, and that is an indication of the force of the water. Similarly, uh, in terms of uh, our response, uh, just a short time ago, as you know, uh, we, we uh, performed a swearing in activity in relation to over 100 uh, interstate officers who will now join with our forces in uh, ensuring the safety of the community, particularly around the Brisbane and Ipswich areas. Um, certainly the safety of property is a critical issue for those, for those areas that have been evacuated. Uh, we uh, are undertaking this activity specifically to give confidence to those people who are not yet able to return to their homes that their properties will be safe. Uh, our people have worked very, very hard since before Christmas now and having these extra officers from interstate uh, police services um, is a great bonus and, and I think a boost to the morale of our people. Do you know how long they will be on the to be on location and how long it will take to get the operation around uh, Certainly we've committed to at least three weeks of having extra officers but there will be rotations during that time 
as uh, officers uh, finish their rotation and return to their states and other officers take their place. Um, provided that no further bodies are found, we are hopeful that the search of the township of Grantham will be completed by close of business today, um, but that is obviously uh, tempered with the uh, location of a further body this morning. But we are certainly working towards uh, our police resources having finalised that search to the, by this afternoon. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me.